Y'all, I gotta tell you, as far as this Applebee's commercial goes and the timing of it, <laughs> the brutal timing of that commercial goes, I'm a little bit conflicted. Cause I'm a country rock and roller What you get is what you see Yeah, I'm a country On the one hand, yeah, when you look at it, it's like we're talking about war. We're talking about a possible World War III, something that could have long-standing effects on not only this country, but the entire world. And then right in the smack middle of it, we are just knocked across the face with just garbage capitalism. And we are reminded once again that no matter what is going on in the world, nothing is as important as making a quick buck, okay? I get that. You know, there's a lot to say about this. You know, the Applebee's commercial plan when it did um, in the middle of something very serious. On the one hand, yes, we're potentially on the brink of World War III. Ukrainians are suffering. Putin is moving forward with his plans. And, you know, just war in and of itself that's constantly being waged is a very tragic thing and tragic part of the human condition. But on the other hand, you know, what more ironic and somewhat comical way for us to really, really show what it's all about. War being the racket that it is. It all being about money, it all being about power. But also at the same time, it just goes to show that again, you know, these news networks, they're corporations. They have commercials set to be played at certain times because companies bought out that airspace. And so this really just kind of was a result of laziness, I believe, you know, they weren't like, wah ha ha, we're gonna play that commercial here. But they just didn't really pay attention and they just let the things, let the show keep rolling. Um, so this is definitely was an error that really made them look bad, but there's a lot more to say about this for sure. Another important perspective that I gained from this and that I think everyone can take from this is that, you know, the fact that a commercial with such lighthearted energy and fun atmosphere came on in the middle of such a serious situation is that Americans have been very blessed and fortunate to not wake up and live in the middle of a war zone. None of us have experienced that here on the mainland. World War II didn't decimate the mainland the same way that it did European countries and, you know, just conflicts all over the world that we've seen and gotten to watch on television and research online. We haven't ourselves had to wake up and worry about bombs being dropped on American schools or bombs being dropped on stores when we're just trying to go about our daily lives. So it's easy for us to sit on the couch and tune into these situations. But what's more important to know is that it's even easier for us to tune out of these types of situations. And I think that that was just a beautiful example of how easy it is to click that switch on and off. But you know, at least from my opinion and my perspective, I think that this isn't something that we should all be up in arms about or spend too much time focusing on. It happened, it was definitely distasteful. Um, but again, you know, things like this happen in giant corporations where you got commercials to play because people bought those slots. And, you know, unfortunately, they didn't think about that. And now that's definitely a bad look. But for all of us who truly care about this issue, um, just like any other issue, you know, domestic issues or foreign policy issues, let's really stay involved. If you have the ability to give, then give. If you have time to give or money to give, any types of resources, then give that. You know, research, learn about what's going on, and let's make sure that we all stay in the fight. And this is also important uh, as we go into midterms and of course the 2024 election as well. You know, who do we really want dealing with the situation? Because this isn't something that's just gonna, oh, in a few weeks it'll all be done. No, this is definitely something that's gonna be ongoing in terms of just the tension among nations and world tension in general. So let's make sure that, you know, let's not get too caught up in this. You know, we can laugh at it. We can point our fingers and make judgments because it deserves all of it. But on the other hand, by God, I about never felt more patriotic in my life, okay? Because an Applebee, and I normally never side with Applebee's, but an Applebee's commercial, right after they're talking about war, you know what that says to me? That says to me, by God, yeah, there's a war going on. When ain't there a war going on, okay? You want me to take a break from being free just because there's another war? No, this is America, okay? I want three things. Chicken wings, a big ass beer, and Lord willing, a piece of all right, go dogs. Skew. It happened. It was definitely distasteful. Um, but again, you know, things like this happen in giant corporations where you got commercials to play because people bought those slots. And, you know, unfortunately, they didn't think about that. And now that's definitely a bad look. But for all of us who truly care about this issue, um, just like any other issue, you know, domestic issues or foreign policy issues, let's really stay involved. If you have the ability to give, then give. If you have time to give or money to give, any types of resources, then give that. 
you know, research, learn about what's going on, and let's make sure that we all stay in the fight. And this is also important uh, as we go into midterms and, of course, the 2024 election as well. You know, who do we really want dealing with the situation? Because this isn't something that's just going to, oh, in a few weeks, it'll all be done. No, this is definitely something that's going to be ongoing in terms of just the tension among nations and world tension in general. So let's make sure that, you know, let's not get too caught up in this. You know, we can laugh at it. We can point our fingers and make judgments because it deserves all of it. So uh, let's stay involved and keep up the fight.